the holidays are supposed to be a fun time. But you guys make it a not fun time. Because I'm gonna be going through disturbing Christmas builds on the gallery. <sighs> If you head on over to the gallery, click on hashtag and type in FGG December, you will find a bunch of Christmas builds that'll make me want to cry, and we're gonna be going through these today. First build that we're gonna be looking at is the Naughty North Pole by Ah So Spice. Ho ho ho! Jingle these bells, baby, and stay out of the workshop. I immediately regret this, but I have committed, so we are just gonna upload this now. I really thought, you know, we're gonna have a wholesome episode this time. It's the holiday season. Season. There's no way you guys will find a way to make it fucking weird, but honestly, it's on me. I should have expected this. <sighs> Here we are at the Naughty North Pole. Can I just say, regardless of what we find in here, is this not, like, the best-looking build you have ever seen? Like, I don't even want to think about how long it took this person to actually make this. Like, this is insane. Like, this is an entire paycheck's worth, like a month's worth of shit. We have this lovely giant Christmas tree in the middle with all these gifts surrounding it, and I don't see any security, so I could easily just, like, grab one of those. I do want to go into the the giant castle that is- Oh, wait, no, there is security. Oh, my God. Luckily, I have no nuts for them to crack. I do want to go in the big house, but there's also, like, a tiny little gingerbread house here, which is so cute with, like, a little frosting roof and everything. So I'm going to go in here first. Unless this is the workshop I'm not really supposed to be going into. Oh, no, this is just, like, a little- Oh, this is just a tiny little gingerbread house. How the frick did you do this? Oh, they're just having a cozy night in. I love this. They're just sat here brain rotting and watching TikToks all day because that's what I do. This is so flipping cute. Is this like a bathroom? Oh my God, it's a gingerbread bathroom. Dude, I could never live in this. Not because of how it wouldn't be cool outside of the holiday season, but I'd just be eating the fucking walls. Cute little sitting area. All right, I'm gonna go into this big house. I wanna see what this is about. I was told I'm not allowed to go in the workshop, but to be honest, like has anybody stopped me? No, I have never been stopped. In through the front door and this is is so freaking pretty. I don't know why I'm censoring myself by saying freaking. I find it so much funnier than just saying like the curse word itself. And it's not because I'm giving into the YouTube monetization rules. Not at all. When have I ever? I just think it's really flipping funny. Oh, this is like a little nightclub area. This is cool. Oh my God. These raves are about to get frosty. I don't even know what that means. Uh, we have an upstairs and a downstairs. I assume the downstairs is the workshop. So I'm gonna just check out this bathroom. And oh my God. No, okay, but this, like, little window set up here, that is so pretty. I am so copying this in my builds. You cannot stop me. This is so pretty. And, like, the giant wreath over the circle mirror, that is such a clever way to use that. Through this door, we have the bathtub situation. Oh, my okay. Fucking fancy pants. And over here, oh, my God. Okay, so it's like a double bathroom. This is actually really fucking sick, actually. This might be, like, one of my favorite bathrooms. And I don't even like the color blue. We have just a fancy little sitting area. We have an upstairs and a downstairs. I want to go upstairs. I feel like downstairs is where I should not be going, so I leave that for last. Here we are on the next floor. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, mailbox and his wife are here. Oh my god, oh no, but this is fancy mailbox. This is like capitalism mailbox and his wife, or maybe that's his like trophy wife. I don't actually know. Everybody's here to watch a Christmas show. Oh, <laughs> no, that's a Christmas show, all right. Um, And people are donating generously. These guys are really excited about it. <laughs> We have a lovely little piano station here. Very nice piano station. It's just called a fucking piano. We've got the bar here with a train set at the very top. And it even has clouds coming out as plumes of smoke. The detail here is actually fucking insane. What is with you people? With like the good builds and stuff. You guys should be the Sims YouTubers. I'm fucking not me. Here we have this guy on top of the fucking table. This guy serving drinks to this guy. You can tell this one has an alcohol problem. And we have a beautiful little telephone booth. This is so nice. Like, I have no complaints about this. There's more. Wait, why is there a heart symbol pointing that way? What? Oh, is there a ladder? Oh, I would have never noticed this. Okay, I'm going up. I don't know if I should be in here. We have a very glitchy camera, a giant closet. Does it have anything in it? No, not that I, well, I can't really see much. What the? We'll go through this door and, oh, we have, oh, oh, okay, right. I think I know what this means. I think I know what this is and I don't think I like it um but we are in here already and oh this one's green this time okay right well I knew that you guys wouldn't build anything normal why would I fucking think that and then oh we have
have this that goes down here. Okay, so there are two ladders that... Okay. I'm gonna go downstairs. You guys have fun. Um, uh, Maybe you have the music in this room for a reason. Maybe it's drowning something out. And Okay. I'm suddenly less enthusiastic about this build. Into the basement. Oh, what's behind this curtain? There's a reception area that doesn't look as festive as the rest of the place. Like, yeah, okay, you've got the Christmas tree, but they didn't even fucking decorate it. So I feel like that's not the main attraction here. And, uh, what? What? Oh, wait, are these? I, oh, maybe I understand. I think these are the elves, but they're actually gnomes and they're packaging things and making things behind a giant fucking gate. And these are their sleeping quarters, I believe. Okay. Uh, oh, there's more. There's more? I don't know. Quarter three does not look like it's going to be as profitable. You dead ass built an entire mine shaft. This guy died. I, I didn't even know you could make this in this game. What the actual fu Are you guys okay? Like, did you really do this in a week? I am... What? You're getting them to mine, like, crystals and stuff. Fucking Elon Musk ass simulator. What is this? Okay. Wow. Uh, huh? This was actually insane. Wait, guys, there's a crystal pool and it's pretty. This was honestly fucking amazing. The next build we're gonna be looking at is Gingerbread Lane Apartments by Dello04. The apartments at Gingerbread Lane are busy decking the halls. Please mind the boxes in the lobby as we are still hanging our stockings with care. Honestly, I think it's time we start building more things that I can eat. Listen, sometimes you need a little snack so you just <sighs> the drywall, you know? It's practical. Oh my god, it's an actual gingerbread. Welcome to Gingerbread Lane Apartments. Oh my god, this is so cute. I love that the pool is candy and and the garden is candy and a candy cane. The chimneys are the eyes and the solar panels are the buttons. Like what? But that's just from an aerial view because when we come down here, it's actually so freaking pretty. I think that these are all separate houses because it says they're apartments. And why is the mailbox in the middle? <laughs> the fucking mailman trying to put like your post in there is just going to be like, ow, owie, ow, ow. But I do think these are all separate houses. So I don't really know which one to go through, but I'm tempted to go through the middle, which is why I'm going to go through the left. <laughs> Here is what I assume is house number one. We've got a lot of pink decorations, so I feel like this is already telling us a lot about this person's personality, and we definitely know what type of Christmas these guys celebrate, and that's a, a an emo one. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute and so festive, but it's not like the typical festive, you know? Like, you do have the Christmas decorations, boink, ow. I feel like this would be a perfect build for the new expansion pack that's coming out. We have, like, a lovely little bedroom here. Very nice, very pink and purple, and it's just the same theme all around and I think that it's really, really nice and great attention to detail. Shared bathroom would be very interesting because imagine you need to use the bathroom and your roommate needs to use the bathroom at the same time. Which door are you gonna knock on? You know what I mean? I don't know. I've never had to live in that situation. We have this over here, which is like a little, oh, a little knitting craft area. So pretty. And then we go over here and I feel like, yep, this is like the shared accommodation situation. It even has a gym. What? Okay. Fucking fancy over here. What's in this room? And this is like a fireplace room with a sauna. Dude, there's a sauna on that side. No, it's it's not a sauna. It's a yoga spot, but still. Holy shit. Oh, it's a bathroom. There's a bathroom here. What's on the other side then? Dude, I'm zooming through this so fast, but I'm so excited. I need to like slow down. And there's a laundromat. Okay. There really is everything here. And it's like so... Wait, what's in this corner? Oh, it's a vending machine. What? Everything is so unconventional, but so conventional at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Like if I told people that I was gonna live in a gingerbread house, they'd be like, girl, what the fuck? But then I show them and they're like, oh, actually, this is crazy. I bet the rent here is like insane. We're gonna go through the green wreath door now, but everything is blue. Okay, so this is a blue Christmas. They have children, so um, I don't think the neighbors are really gonna like them very much because they'll be very loud. But this is so fucking pretty. And as far as I know, it doesn't seem like it's using a lot of packs. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, they have a rainbow tree. Okay, ally. We got three doors to go through. We'll go through this one first. Very nice. Just simple bedrooms like you didn't really have to do too much because like the outside is already so fucking insane and you've got the kids study right here i honestly if i was a kid i would have loved this setup no fucking joke okay so we went through these two doors so we're gonna go through this one i want to go through this one first we have a yellow room okay so i feel like it's the same sort of floor plan but the colors are different and i think you might have a pack that i don't have because the walls are <laughs> 
are blank. I'm so sorry. There are just kits I won't buy. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I don't want them. But this is cute. I love this vibe. I'm sure that this was a very cozy room. And I'm sorry I did not do you justice. But look, yellow bathroom. Hello. Going through this door now. And here we are. Oh, dude, I kind of like the little underlight setup you've got going on here. That is so nice. And finally, we have blue wreath door heading in here. And ah, uh, blue once again. This one is probably my favorite just because I love the dining table and I love the placement of the tree. I love everything about this. I think this is the one I would be most likely to live in, even though I don't like the color blue. A very nice bedroom. Very, very nice. You must really like that woman to have a giant picture of her in your bedroom, fucking weirdo. This must be the bathroom. Yep, I realize that none of these bathrooms are shared, so it's not like the first one we went through. And then like a tiny little single room here. I think this person really likes Christmas, but I don't actually know. I feel like you'd have to like Christmas to live in a gingerbread house, actually. If you look at it from this angle, it looks like he died. Last build we're gonna be looking at is Christmas Grotto by Lasagna Dude 14, a fully furnished festive home for sale. After the previous owner's mysterious disappearance, they left everything behind. Beyond the gates lie the answer to the mystery surrounding this cozy grotto, but it's all okay, right? No aliens, right? Would you buy a festive house, like a house that is decorated permanently to look like one part of the year? I mean, if you said there are aliens in the house, I'm gonna get it anyway, but like, I feel like I'd be that bitch to live in a 24 seven Christmas house. Not, I don't think I could do it. Does your ass ever hurt? Here we are at the cozy Christmas got Godo? Grotto. Godo. I cannot see there being anything wrong with this build that is so bad that I wouldn't move in here. You even have reindeer on the roof. Come on now. You have enough money to pay for the electricity bills. I don't see why not. We're gonna do a quick perimeter check around here just to see if there's anything interesting in the back. There's something interesting in the back. We have a lovely little backyard with a hot spring. Everything looks really, really nice. And we've even got like a little workshop situation going on. We'll check. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. This is, this does not look, um, is she supposed to be here? I personally think it's fine because I think it's just the old tenant still living in here. I don't think they've moved out yet. So we're gonna see how lovely and neat this house is. Oh, okay. They've left a bit of a mess, which is okay because this does look really, really pretty. It does look really, really festive. Sometimes when you are buying a house, they, the last tenants don't clean up and it kind of sucks, but there's nothing you can really do about it. We have a lovely cozy living room. So many presents. I would absolutely watch a Hallmark movie in here. There isn't a television, but that's what we have laptops for now, isn't it? We have so many doors. I'm going to go through this one. We're just going to go right to left. We have this lovely bedroom, nice and clean. Very nice. Maybe somebody is shedding. It's really nice and simple in here. Like you just got the vibes and you really went for it. We have a kitchen in here. Okay. Interesting floor plan for the kitchen. We've got double sinks. Very cool. It's very, it's a little tight. It's a bit of an interesting floor plan, but I don't hate it. And then we have a bathroom back here. Okay, this is kind of cozy, actually. I don't hate this bathroom at all. Definitely better than any of the bathrooms that I make. I'll tell you that right now. We've got this next door over here, which leads outside. Okay, so we're back in the backyard. I do want to check out what this like shed thing is, unless it leads me downstairs in which I won't go. Okay, we'll, we'll, come, we'll come back to this. And I believe this also leads me outside. Okay, actually, we're not coming back to this. We're actually just going for it. <laughs> we have a lovely shed here. Everything is storage. I do think that the affliction is coming from down there. I mean, who doesn't like a little Christmas mystery? Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, yeah, this is the first one we've seen today as well. You guys have done pretty well so far with not bombarding me with these, but uh, here we go. And we're in an elevator. Elevator? Do I just go down? Oh, no, it's not an elevator. There's just a door behind here that I just did not fucking see. Okay, we're gonna go through here and it leads us downstairs. Okay, so we have these giant fucking doors with tons of cameras everywhere, so I'm totally allowed to be in here. And it's an underground testing facility. I mean, it wouldn't be Christmas without one, can I just say? We have uh, these, like, I don't know why this is here. I don't know why it's under, like, a fucking Christmas house, but I'm not gonna fucking question it. So people have definitely been living down here. I don't know if they've been consenting to living down here, knowing you guys and the builds you guys make. Probably not. We're gonna continue on. Okay, something has definitely gotten a little out of hand here, but we do have some fridges. So I see a win-win here. We've got some gamer stations down here. This is probably where I'm gonna watch my Hallmark movies, to be fair. We go through here. We've got another door. We go through here. We've got a baby delivering station. Okay, so that makes sense. There's still more back there. How do I get over there? There's a second door here, and you go through here, and there are alien portals. Okay, yeah, I definitely feel like somebody has been experimenting with things they shouldn't be doing, and now they've made a fucking mess. 
I'm gonna be completely honest, this is an absolutely beautiful build, especially the outside and the Christmas decorations, but unless somebody cleans up the mess, then I'm not fucking moving in here.